Welcome visionaries and revolutionaries to the Aligned Empire podcast, your gateway to building a movement of change, wealth, and impact. I'm your host, Drea Brown. This podcast is for the visionary woman who is ready to master the energetic frequencies of money, business, and herself, and is ready to expand into a frequency, life, and empire that mirrors her highest purpose. Together, we are rising up and reshaping the world as we know it, defying limitations and boldly embodying our highest selves. You're not just listening to another podcast. You're embarking on an epic journey. Hello and welcome back to another episode. So today we are going to be talking about making the decision, making the decision. I was on Instagram a few weeks ago and not many posts really affect my life in a very, very, very deep way. Like, have you ever been on Instagram and you're scrolling on Instagram and you see something that's so inspirational and so motivational and you're like, oh my God, I really want to like, I I really want to absorb this. And then you totally forget about it. And Literally, you're like, what was that one really important thing that was going to change my life forever? Well, that happens to me all the time. (laughs) So I was on Instagram a few weeks ago and I saw this post and I think it just said, make the decision, make the decision. And I don't even know if it meant it in the way that I really absorbed it, but it was one of those things that really just slammed me in the face. It was exactly what I needed to hear. Because a few weeks ago, I was just kind of rolling around in some decisions and I was just rolling around in procrastinating and not getting my shit done and not doing the things I knew I needed to do. And I just allowed everything to be put on the back burner. And I knew that. I knew that. But maybe you're at the point of your life where it or maybe there's something in your life where you know you want to do it and you need to do it and you're supposed to do it, but it just hasn't felt right yet, or you just haven't allowed yourself to do it yet. And maybe you keep waiting and maybe you keep pushing it off like, oh, maybe next week, maybe next week, maybe next month, maybe next, maybe next year. What is it like? What, you know, maybe, maybe it's making them, you know, a hundred thousand dollars, or maybe it's a million dollars in your business and you keep pushing off just a little, like maybe next year it'll happen, maybe whatever. Or maybe you just need to get more serious about your business, or maybe it's, you know, you really want to get more serious about your offer, whatever it is, but you keep pushing it off. And you keep being indecisive and you keep procrastinating. And all of this is stealing your energy. It's stealing your momentum. It's stealing your purpose and it's stealing your life. So this is such a powerful episode because that quote on Instagram, when it said, make the decision, it can mean so many things. I love that freaking quote. I Now that I talk about it, like I really want to put it somewhere in my office. I'm looking in my office. I'm like, I really just want to put that quote up. Because I think it's one of those things where we can come back again and again and again, because I think, you know, it's just something that there's probably going to be almost always something in your life where maybe not, but a lot of the times something in your life where you're just not making the decision about it, you know, and where does it come from? You know, fear, insecurity, um, lack. Yeah, just being scared, fear of failure, fear of success. Like there's so many complex issues going on here. But I just want to say what that quote said to me. Make the damn decision. Just make it. Like, make it. Stop waiting. That's really what is stealing so much of our momentum, so much of our life, and so much of our energy. We think that there's going to be a better day to make that decision or to do the damn thing. We think that there's tomorrow's going to be better or next week's going to be better. That's when we're going to feel really good or, or something is just going to click in our brain and every, all the stars are going to align and then we're going to feel ready to go. I want you to to know with the deepest of my heart, you just have to make that decision. And when I read that quote, it, yeah, like I said, it slapped me in the face, hit me like a pound of bricks. I was like, shit, like I need to make that damn decision. You know, there's a few things in my podcast, like I've been, we've been really working hard on launching this podcast. There's a few things in my podcast that I haven't made the damn decision about. And just, and it's just about my life, right? There's a few things, my business that I just wasn't making a, a decision on. And I just was kind of toying around because we're doing this massive rebranding. And it's so, I'm so, you guys, I'm so excited about it. Oh my God. But um, and it, by the time this episode's out, it might already be up and launched and everything, hopefully. But, you know, there's a lot of decisions that I've been having to make creatively and with different graphic designers and, um, you know, website, copy. There's so much stuff. And so I just haven't been making the decision. I haven't been making the damn decision. And it has been stealing my energy every just a little bit every single day. So I want to ask you, where in your business 
where in your life have you not been making the damn decision that you continue? Maybe, maybe you do make the decision one day and then the next day you totally change your mind because you start doubting yourself. You don't trust yourself. You stop trusting yourself. And where in your life and business is that happening? Where are you being so indecisive and you're just you're you're just not putting your full effort into it. You're not putting your full momentum into it. And you know that you could be doing so much freaking better, but you're not. You just cannot pull yourself to do it. And every day you feel unfulfilled. Every day you feel stuck. Every day you feel like shit because you're not making the damn decision. Again, maybe it's a damn decision that you are going to be a fucking millionaire this year or whatever you want to do. But where are you not making that damn decision? Where are you falling short? Where are you just skittering around and just skirting around? You don't want to look. You don't want to look at it in the face. You just don't want to look at it. It's so you pretend it's not there. You just shove it under the rug and it continues to claw at your soul. So where can you make the decision? I want. I just want you to let that sink in. Where can you make the decision today? Inside your life, inside your business. Maybe it's your branding. Maybe it's an offer that you've been really toying around with. Maybe it's a lead magnet that you've really been toying around with. Maybe it's getting on social media and just like deciding whether or not you want to post. Make the damn decision. Make it. And then stay in your power and go full force with it. Do not, don't you dare second guess yourself. Go full force. Go 100% balls deep, balls of the wall, all the way in and allow yourself to make the damn decision fully. 100% a full body yes. And I just want you to make it. Sometimes you just have to make it without having all the information, without knowing exactly what to do. Because a lot of the times the information will reveal itself once you make a decision. Once you start going in direction, you'll start to notice your intuition be like, oh, nope, that's not the way. And then you'll then you'll actually know what way to go. So a lot of the times, you know, I know this is the case for me is when I'm not making a decision, especially in terms of Oh my God, you guys, my colors, my colors. Oh my God. (laughs) My colors for my business. I cannot tell you literally how many times I made a decision about that and changed my mind. But it was always because I didn't want to choose the wrong thing. And a lot of us will do the same, same exact thing. We do not want to choose the wrong thing. So because we're so fearful of making the wrong choice, we don't make any decision at all. And that is stealing your energy. That is stealing your momentum. That's stealing your wealth. That's stealing your abundance. That's stealing every your time. It's stealing everything from you. So sometimes you just have to see yourself be identified with the type of person who makes fast decisions, that you are so confident in your decision making. And you might be the type of person right now who you're like, I suck at decisions. I used to tell this myself all the time. I used to tell everyone, I suck at making decisions. I can't even choose what I want on the menu. And that, that was the truth. That was the truth. I was so bad at making decisions that like I literally stare at the menu and ask the waiter, what's your favorite? Like, what do you recommend? What does everyone like? You know, and then I'd go with that because I, I was so scared to make my own decisions. Hello, amazing visionary women. I just wanted to stop in really quick and say, if you're enjoying listening to this podcast or this episode, if you could just do a quick pause and leave a review wherever you're listening to this right now and let us know exactly what you like listening to this episode about, what type of insights were so incredible to you. My team and I work so hard delivering as much value and as much love and put as much energy as we possibly can into these episodes that it truly means the absolute world to us. Take a screenshot of this episode. Share it to your Instagram story. Share it to your Facebook. I love tagging you guys as well in my stories. 99% of the time, I will also tag you as well just to let my audience know, hey, there's other people listening to this podcast. So it really does mean the world. And I absolutely love going with depth rather than width. You know, I'd much rather you listen to 10 podcasts and go really, really in depth with the audience and the community rather than a hundred different podcasts. It really means everything when you can go more depth a smaller amount of things rather than going wit wise. And so I would love to extend that invitation to you guys and say, hey, I would love for us to be the community that you wanted to go more in depth with. And with that, make sure you guys go check out those show notes, go download our resources. We have amazing, incredible resources. I know 100% you're going to absolutely love that most people are paying $2,000 for. I'm not even kidding. So make sure you guys check out those show notes and download those free resources, get on that newsletter and engage, engage with 
with this community because we're building something really special here. And I just want to say, even if you don't want to do any of that, I appreciate you so much listening to this and being entangled in this energy and in this journey with me. So thank you so much. And let's get back to the episode. So where are you so scared to make your own decisions? And I want you to stand in your fucking power and make those decisions. Like, I want you to grab all that power back and make your own decisions. I don't want anyone else to make those decisions for you. Even if you have a coach, if you have a mentor, if you have a guide, if you are in a course right now, I don't want though that course. I don't want those people to be making decisions for you because they're literally taking your power. You're allowing them to take your power away from you when you're just blindly following other people's advice. So I want you, not that you don't listen to other people's advice because it's, I love getting perspectives. I love perspective. It's like I thrive off that stuff, but always go back into yourself and make the damn decision. So how do you make a decision? <laughs> how do you make sure you're going the right way? How do you make sure you're making the right decision? Well, you really need to start seeing yourself as a person who makes incredible decisions. That's an amazing step is knowing that you are the type of person who makes amazing decisions. And see yourself, truly embody that as you and, and keep telling yourself that. You have to tell yourself that you are the type of person who makes amazing decisions. Do not, do not go into the threshold. Do not go into the mindset of I'm bad at making decisions. I'm so slow at making decisions because you are literally making that your reality. It is constantly a reality. And you're draining your energy. I'm gonna say that a thousand times this episode. You're draining your energy every time you don't make that, that damn decision. And I want you to get really good at making fast decisions because the better you get at making fast decisions, the more that freaking flow and momentum happens in your business. It's like a fucking tornado or like a a, a beautiful tsunami of love <laughs> and an amazing overflow of abundance and an amazing just momentum, you guys. It feels so good. And I'm, I'm telling you this because I've experienced it with every cell of my body. I'm telling you, I was the worst decision maker of my life. And then I just, I just like realized I was telling myself all these shitty stories about myself and about the way I make decisions. And I stopped. And now I, I really am in the habit of making fast decisions as fast as I can. I can still, even as I'm speaking in this episode, I can still work on it. There's a few things that I still haven't replied to people on Fiverr with some of the, the like stuff that I have, projects that I have going on. So I'm like, you know, I still, I still need to make even faster decisions, but it's something I've gotten so much better at. And it's so so exciting. And once you let those floodgates open, it, it's like, again, you can't even stop the momentum that is going to start your business once you just start making those decisions. So again, start identifying as someone who makes incredible decisions. Start making fast decisions. Let's talk about the energy since we are always going to say, I probably say it every episode, literally, I'm not even kidding yet, that everything is energy. So I want you to figure out what is the type of energy of making incredible decisions. How do we make high frequency decisions? This is gonna be another episode in itself. I'm, I'm not kidding. So I don't really wanna to go too much into this because first of all, I just want you to make the damn decision. But let's talk about getting into a high frequency decision because that's ultimately our biggest fear. You typically, when we're not making decisions is because again, we're just, we're fearful in general, fear, fear, failure. We just don't wanna be going the wrong way. And so we're just, we're just scared, we're just scared. So what is the opposite of all of that? What's the opposite when we want to make high frequency decisions? I love, of love, love, love filtering all my decisions through a couple of questions. And sometimes different times in my life, question, different questions resonate with me. But two questions that have always resonated with me, and I think will always continue to resonate with me, is what would unconditional love do in this situation? What would love do? And what would my highest self do? those two questions. And the second question, what would my highest self do? This can be a combination. You can really switch those words around. What would the next stage of myself do? What What is the next the next up level of myself? What would they choose? What would the multi-million dollar version of myself choose? Or the, the, the person who's impacting millions of people, what would they choose in this situation? And filter all of your decisions through that. You know, like even when you're talking about branding or my colors, you know, when I was looking at my colors, I was like, you know, what is the empire, the massive empire builder version of myself? What are they choosing to have as their colors in the business? Or what type of episodes are they publishing? What type of what type of content are they creating? I, I, I really try. I try. I'm not perfect at this, but I really try to filter all of my decisions and all of my everything through these questions. What is unconditional love 
do in the situation? And what is the highest version of myself do? And oh my gosh, it will filter out so many decisions and embodying that as well, embodying that energy of your empire self, of that massive, incredible visionary leader that is leading a massive movement and a massive impact and embodying that and leading and, and making decisions in that energy. And you can listen to, there's so many different episodes I have that will really help you. Again, this whole podcast, right, you guys, it's not just going to be one one episode, but about embodiment. It's such an important topic, but allowing yourself to really grow into that embodiment is just going to take practice. Grow into that embodiment of making decisions. And maybe it's just a small decision. Maybe just start off with a small decision. Maybe it's just, you know, maybe it's choosing food on a menu. Honestly, maybe it's just choosing food on a menu and just choose it. Like you fully choose it in your power and really be intentional and don't ask the waiter. Not that it's bad to ask the waiter. I still do it sometimes. But don't even ask the waiter. Don't ask anyone where you're choosing. You choose. You powerfully choose and don't doubt your decision and be happy with your decision every single step of the way. Be happy with it until obviously it doesn't feel good anymore and it's not aligned. So, but until then, be fully into your decision. And once you start teetering on your decision, make a decision of whether you're going to continue to teeter or not. But you have to be quick about it. And that's the thing. That's like why it's so important to grow this habit of making super fast decisions because you don't want to continue teetering on decisions. Because if you could, if you have this habit of teetering on decisions, let's just say you make a decision and you're, you're like, oh my God, this is so amazing. I'm totally doing this. And then the next day or the next week, you're like, ah, like, I don't know if I want this. And you just like, but you stay in that energy of being indecisive about it. And you can't make a decision of whether you want to continue or not. So that's really, 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 really fucking dangerous. That's so dangerous because you're in this habit of doing that. And so you'll, so what happens is you stay in this indecisive energy. For who knows how long, like it could take, maybe it's only a day, maybe it's weeks, maybe it's years. And I've seen it over and over again. It can be literally up to years where people stay in this indecisive energy because they don't, they're so paralyzed to take that next step. They're so terrified of what might happen if they make the wrong decision. So allow yourself to be in a habit of making fast decisions. So again, and feel the energy of being strong in your position and strong in your decisions And when you feel differently about that type of decision, make sure that you're fast, rapidly making a decision about that. So again, you make a decision. And then once you get make that decision, you are not sure you're not sure about the decision. So make a decision about whether you're not sure about it. So what are you not sure you need to decide if you're not sure about it, what other direction you want to go and make that decision? Or are you going to continue full steam ahead down this same exact path. But you have to make that decision. You can't just be continuously in the state of indecision. There's nothing that is going to kill your energy more when you're when you are have this habit of indecisiveness. It is going to kill your dreams. It's going to kill your impact. It's going to kill your purpose. So just make sure that you continuously go within and ask yourself, what am I teetering on right now in my decisions? And make this the episode, make this the the talk that you really needed. Because I know, I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, the universe is always happening for you. You were supposed to hear these words. You were supposed to listen to this. You were supposed to. The universe literally has your back in every single moment and is working so magically behind the scenes. And you were supposed to hear this. So make this the moment. Make this the talk. Make this the decision man, the decision. Make this the decision that changes everything. Because all it really takes is making one decision that could impact the rest of your life. It will change the trajectory. One decision will change the trajectory of your entire life. So if you want to make that massive a decision, allow it to be right now. And ask yourself, how can I make the decision right now where everything in my entire life is going to change in massive ways? How can I make the decision right now that everything's going to change? I'm just going to make it right now and I'm not going to give any excuses and I'm going to forget the person who I was before and let go of all the identities and all the limitations that are holding me back and just let him go and make the damn decision and just keep making the decision and making that decision so strong in your being. And every single day, do any of the limitations or the fears that hold you back? Like, no, like this is, I'm making the decision. You can just repeat that over to yourself. I'm making the decision. This is my decision. I make the decision. I made the damn decision and just make it, you know, and and I want, again, like it's so important to stay strong in your decision and not teeter. Oh my gosh. 
not teeter. Stop teetering. Stop teetering your decisions. Stop being in the indecisive energy. Again, where is this indecisive energy happening in your life? And I want you to feel it, embrace it, be with it, because you can't just push it away and force it away and push it. Like, stop, stop pushing and forcing away. Embrace it. And you're going to hear this so many episodes of me talking about embracing this energy, all the energies embracing it and, and, and loving it and observing it curiously, because you have to know what this indecisive energy feels like in order to, for you to feel what this powerful, decisive energy feels like. And you're going to feel it, but you have to feel this indecisive energy in your life. And when you notice it, don't hate it away. <laughs> don't hate it away. Love it. Love it into your being and allow it to just be processed. Allow it to feel, allow yourself to feel it fully 100% in every fiber of your being and every little subtlety that you can feel inside of your body with this energy. Allow yourself to feel it as long as you need to, as long as you need to. And then just let it go. Just let it go. And then step in to the energy that's right beyond it, which is powerful, powerful, decisive energy. So I hope this was helpful. It was such, it made such a massive impact in my life when I read it. And I've just been thinking about it nonstop. And I just decided, I was like, I'm making the decision to go balls to the wall, all in and no more procrastinating, no more excuses, no more anything, no more, none of that. Like none of this indecisive anything where my projects don't go as fast as I want because of me because I'm the bottleneck, because I'm being indecisive about some things. And, um, you know, I'm again, like, I'm going to after this episode, I'm going to kind of close my eyes and even write down some of the places that I can still feel this indecisiveness. And I'm going to open up to it, I'm going to embrace it. And then I'm going to move forward and identify and embody a more powerful, decisive energy. So I love you guys so much. If you like this episode, you know what to do. Leave a review. I love you forever. Leave a review. I'm serious. It's so amazing to see reviews and it really helps people find our community, our podcast, the messages that are being spread. And my biggest dream with all of this is making this gorgeous community of people who were literally building this massive movement of momentum for everyone, not just for me. Honestly, I don't even think about myself in this. It's like, I, oh my God, I'm like literally getting goosebumps. <laughs> I wish you could see it. But it's, it's, it's about all of us. It's about all of us growing this beautiful community. And maybe we're buying each other's services or we're just supporting each other and we're going on each other's podcasts and we're making this gorgeous community where we even travel to see each other and, and we have retreats together. And it's not just about this one person, like, you know, me, it's not about me. It's not, it's not about my business. It's about all of our businesses and all rising up together. And it's so, my God, it's so powerful what we're creating here and what the, the energy that I'm embodying and I know is going to happen and it already is starting to happen. It's so amazing. So thank you so much for being on this ride, insane ride with me. And I just appreciate you. So yeah, leave a review. Um, take a screenshot of the episode, share on your Instagram. I love seeing them. I love like just comment, whatever. Like I, I love being a part of your guys' world as well. And I, like, it just makes me feel it's so much more fulfilling rather than talking to an inanimate object, <laughs> even though I know you're listening to it right now and I know it's getting spread to the world, but you know, it's just something else when you see your message travel even further. And it's so, thank you. I just like, thank you. Like, feel free to email me. Let me know what resonates. Any way you want to be connected with me is fine. Even if you just want to like pop up an episode every now and then, that's cool too. So I love you so much and I will see you next episode. And with that, we come to the close of yet another epic journey of the Aligned Empire podcast. Thank you for tuning in to the frequency of your limitless potential. Each episode is a code to unlock your unique energetic frequencies of money, business, and your aligned empire. If you feel this episode would resonate with others, please share it forward, creating a ripple effect throughout the universe. Make sure to subscribe to continue this journey of transformation with us. Join us again next week as we continue to rise together, joining a movement that is changing the world. This is Drea Brown, your guide on this journey, signing off.